Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of What's Hot. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, first week we're going to have some hunting items, so we're going to start having a half and half hunting, fishing, mm -hmm. smorgasbord going on. Um, for those of you who don't know, hunting season actually starts September 1st, dove season and whatnot, so mm -hmm. nothing like hunting in 100 degree weather. We it's, love it. We love it. We love it. Um, so one of the things we want to talk about actually, kind of what's hot is usually about like, you know, brand new products and this and that, but it's also kind of about what's happening now yes. so like we're talking about hunting stuff but it's not hunting season mm -hmm. so you brought up a bunch of stuff here today that's kind of you know a little more geared toward that so yeah. it's the time of year where everybody starts to get their stand set up and get their um, mineral licks going and everything so what better than to have saws and clippers and um pruners and whatnot for making shooting lanes and getting um tree branches out of your way for putting up a stand so we have a couple different variations of saws some longer saws some folding saws um everything like that and these pruners which are actually a ratchet shear so those are going to be awesome because it's just you just yeah it's just great it snaps quick it snaps quick um another thing everybody loves deer cane we have the black magic as well as the regular deer cocaine um great to start um getting out there and um creating a mineral site for your deer yeah one week before you go is not the time to start right deer to, to learn where you want them to go yep. it, it won't work well and so. we also have them in blocks as well the regular deer cocaine the persimmon and as well as the sweet corn yeah. um i actually have had actually a lot of luck with um with the sweet corn one um, all year round, it works really you well. Like I do like it. And we'll probably have regular corn in next week, and yes. we will probably not drag a whole bag of 50 pound corn up here. So, but that'll yes. be good to start getting that in. So, again, people mm -hmm. can start getting this thing going. Um, so, I see we also have some trail tacks in here because, yes. of course, you're going to want to set those things up. These are some new items. So, I think the wing tack here, which is has a real big, nice high biz strip like on there. All the way around it. And thing. it sticks out, which is kind of nice. So, again, you're usually against a tree, which sometimes it's like, I don't know where it is it can be hard to find yes, so so i feel like this is a better version of that mm -hmm. you find places especially like fence posts things like that you you know that's going to be really clear to see so and, i really like the that. regular tax we have them in uh, three different colors the regular uh white we have them in orange so you can see them during the day as well as brown so it makes it um, a little bit harder to see as far in the daytime so it is good for um your hidden stands and such it blends in with the tree bark which Real, they're really awesome. If your sense of direction is as good as mine, you also need help during the day to find where you're going. Yes. 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 Then lost me time. So we also have trail cameras. The nice thing with a lot of the trail cameras nowadays, they're not that expensive, especially the ones we carry. We're not carrying anything crazy high no. end, but they're also kind of all in one. Like yes. a lot of these are come with memory cards, batteries, this and that. So again, the idea is you come into the store and you take it, you can go put it out. Because again, yes. if you're coming here, you're stopping by, that's probably exactly what you're doing. Yep. Um, I know, I don't know if we've gotten them yet, but we also have some, uh, gonna have some really good deals on some 32 gigabyte memory mm -hmm. cards coming up too for that yes, kind of thing. Gonna be awesome. So that is going to be awesome. So we're excited. We're hoping to have all our hunting stuff out in the next week up and yet it wouldn't be anything bad. Though. Can't forget the screw in tree steps for you guys that wanna hang your stands. You can't forget these, these are always crucial i always keep a couple of them my bed in my bag because for some reason i never screw mm -hmm. them in right and i don't know sometimes. there's nothing like a couple out of shape guys trying to bear their way up yes, a tree or something it doesn't yep. really work very well yeah so anyway um moving on to the fishing side of things so fishing has been a really really good really good especially the mackerel bite everybody's hitting the max hard now that uh rockfish season mm -hmm. is on suspend so um right here we've been selling these all year oh, um, yeah. this is kind of a little bit of a different makeup he just mm -hmm. did of it but this is the cj spoon umbrella which we probably should have taken it out yeah so the great part about cj spoons is their thinner profiles thinner profile spoons you control at faster speeds mm -hmm because they're not going to wobble and flop around. So, like so with his spoon umbrella, unlike other ones, you're going to be able to troll it at fast speeds for mackerel with the teaser behind it. So this is all pre-rigged, ready to roll, and I'm sure it will cream mackerel. Especially because it has that bigger profile spoon, mm -hmm. so it's going to be... Yeah, he does put a bigger profile spoon with a nice little eye on it at the end. Very nice gonna, touch. Yes. Beautiful. They're phenomenal. And that green color works really well. I've had a lot of people have that, like that neon green or that regular, like darker green on the um, spoons and find that most days, for some reason, they outcatch the mackerel. Yeah. yeah. And I think we've been hearing, you know, a lot of people over the last year or two have been doing a lot more casting yes, for mackerel right. and whatnot and getting into those schools. So I'm selling lots of like jigging metals mm -hmm. and things like that. And I think one of the things we're always looking for are really small profile baits that have weight that you yes. can rip through the water. Otherwise, you're skipping baits, you're having to add inline weight. We don't want to do any of those things. So this kind of fits in that. This is called, um, Tsunami came out with this this year, brand new. This is the Fork Tail Candy. And, 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 and it is a, they have gorgeous, gorgeous holographics on them. 
one of our favorite parts. They come pre-done with a single hook. And they even give you a treble hook if you didn't like right. the Right, but they do it the right way around. They're putting that on yes, first and yes. then that second. The, so the best part of this, hard to see in the video, um, it's a really, it's a really, and now this is the smallest version we carry, but it's really wide body yes. to heavy weight. So we have definitely have jigs that are, you know, a good inch or two longer than this that are this same weight. So if not lighter, right, exactly. So these are going to be nice, small profile baits that have heavy weights. And I do believe this is a three quarter ounce for how small that is. That's oh, unreal. is that the three quarter? Yes. Yeah, I probably have the half. Yeah, I have a half ounce in my hand, and again, the profile, it's you would never be able to, you would not think it's three quarter ounce yeah. or or that. So these are really cool. I haven't mm -hmm. used these yet, but again, especially with the single hook too, we, which we all love. I feel like that's going to be a really, really good one once we get out there on it. Um, so kind of uh, staying in the same fishing range, we have the new Savage Gear DC slides. Um, I do not know what this sort of nylon material is, but it this makes is- it look like a real fish This is actually, thing. yeah. Look at that. So that's going to flutter. It's going to have a lot of nice action to it. As Mike, as Mike uh, pointed out to me earlier, they use actual fish photographs. Yeah, so this photo print of the actual fish. Right. On so, it. so it looks real. Yeah. I would eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This isn't some artistic take on it. This no, is it's, the real deal. Yes. It has a uh, heavy duty wide um, gap frog hooks on them. Um, they, they do walk the dog really nicely, um, effortlessly. Uh, for that matter so yeah, any rod snake head phenomenal bait. yeah and i think we all like these baits so you can you can hear it in there so we all do a little bit with these hollow bodies mm -hmm. where it's like hey if you want you can suck up a little water and it will get just some yeah but it'll kind of make it stick a little bit more get you a little bit different action on it so that's always nice to play with on those baits as well um so i guess while we're staying in the fishing range we also now are carrying um Rich Jenkins, Coach Jig Heads, um, Copia Jigs, which is, this is a, um, this is a Bustum Fat Boy. Yep, it's gotta be the Fat Boy. Gotta be the Fat Boy. On, Strong, stout hook. Yep, rigged on Rich's um, Squid Heads there, which really look nice. Yeah, they have yeah. the nice Mylar in them, which everybody mm -hmm. knows, Copia loves bright colors and shininess. Yeah. Um, those are gonna be great. Yeah, look at that, that's tons of Mylar hanging off like, there too. It's out of control too, which is just, yeah, uh, I've I've heard from lots of people that it's been a, it's been a killer. It's worked yeah. really, have, really, really, really well. We have the great sizes, the one and a half and the two ounces, which is great for Cobia. Mm -hmm. We have them in the oranges, yellow, and then the pinks, mm -hmm. which everybody knows those are the two best colors for Cobia. And I think one of the best things to mention about this, like you just said, you know, one and a half ounce, this and that. So Rich is doing this on purpose for Cobia yes. because because we're using real strong steel hooks on them. So usually your one and a half ounce hooks that we would generally sell would be your lighter, thinner, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, still good hooks, but again, you sink into a, a big 60, 70 pound Cobia, yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna want a hook like this yep. on your one and a half ounce jig. So yep. that's gonna be really, really nice. And everybody loves that squid head. It makes it drop quicker because a lot of times Cobia, when you're ripping it by them, they um, go ahead and drop your rod and they'll usually hit it on the fall. And that squid head really cuts through water versus like a, a different type of um, profile head. And I, that's one of my favorite, the squid head uh, style. Yep. One of my favorite things with alcohol in general is merchandising these days yes. and what they do with it. And so I look at this big, beautiful jar and it looks oh. like something that like a, a guy came in here and told me to like go to the trunk of his car. And he was like, yes. hey, Mike, I got something for you. Yes, and this is you. what he would come out with. So so it's not heavy proof, like it's called a moonshine brand, but it's actually I think like a 70 proof. So Old smoky Tennessee moonshine. But how good does that look? Like Look at those beautiful peaches just floating around in that I know. juicy goodness. It really, like, it really looks good. Be a really so they also make good time. cool little shot things, which I feel like are great gifty items are to have. Mm -hmm. So we've got a nice blackberry Ooh. jar there. We've got our apple moonshine there Ooh. and our white lightning, which I imagine just tastes terrible. No. <laughs> yeah, probably, especially if you drink or if you eat these quite are a still, few peaches, that probably will taste These are not real moonshine, amazing. though. They're 100 proof, 50% yes. proof on that. So I think those are really cool, though. I love those. Love the look of that. And now, speaking of look. Yes, I mean, how cool is that? High West Whiskey, uh, American Prairie Bourbon. Um, it's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. It's uh, parks from Park City, Utah. It's just a cool looking bottle. It's, I heard from friends that they actually does taste really good. I can't wait to uh, buy some and try it. Um, mm -hmm. Your traditional cork type. Um, there and I mean, it's just it's just cool it's just i love all the it's different just like, great. it's just phenomenal so we actually have some rods and stuff to talk about so a really Ooh. cool thing icast just happened and oh, yeah. and with that a month or two later you start 
seeing. we start seeing all the new product come in. So we're going to have a really a lot of a really exciting product to talk about um, for over the next mm -hmm. few weeks, especially with rods, combos, reels. So uh, one of the first ones I want to bring out. We actually carried this. Um, this was the Harrier uh, jigging rod, but they they redid the whole line and at, made some additions and kind of changed the whole thing up. So these are the Harrier boat rods. First thing, what makes it a boat rod? Longer butt at the end, but the old ones were way too way long. They too got long. in the way of things. They put a gimbal on it. You love a plastic oh gimbal gosh. on it. We all want that on our boat rods and whatnot. You know, these aren't going to be things you're throwing in the back of the car. So it's not the application. So they come um, a lot of heavier sizes, a lot of your Cobia mm -hmm. offshore sizes yep. are what we're looking at. So the mediums, medium heavies, and heavies are very heavy. The medium is super, super heavy. Um, I know we were carrying, this is the seven foot heavy. So this would be a great offshore jigging rod. Yep. This would be a great, really heavy Cobia rod, that sort of thing. Um, these are all right around that 129, 139 yep. range. But I think they're, they are really nice rods. I felt a bunch of them. I know we go down to five, eight in those on the real heavy actions. Mm -hmm. Most of them are right in that six and a half, seven foot range. The nice thing about these, they gave you the um, Fuji uh, Tangle Free K concept guides, which is nice. So it's great for braid. They don't have any sharp edges for your braid to get wrapped around. So it's made, and they're all angled kind of upwards, which is made so it's tangle free. So if your braid does happen to wrap around it, it will slip off really easily. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, the hook keeper, it's a big, open, beefy hook keeper. So yeah, that's worth if you're throwing weightable. your big Cobia jigs, it will be able to fit a big hook in it. There's nothing more frustrating. Then you buy a rod and you try there to put really your hook through it and you can't, and you're like, oh, it's the worst. And then they have a locking nut on the reel seat, so it won't come undone. Um, so if you tighten it up and then you can cinch mm -hmm. that down with the locking nut, your reel is not going to come off, which right. is phenomenal. Right there. Everything they thought of is right. Great. And and Daiwa, I feel like, is always on top of, especially component parts, mm -hmm. rings and guides. Like, there are a lot of companies who yes. really who really peel off of what they do with their component stuff. So, again, I feel like you're getting a, a really good rod for, for the price. Yeah, and it's a sexy blue color. It Everybody is. loves blue. It, it is. Blue is, it awesome. is. I really think they did actually did really good yes, with the hair. You're excited. That. Very excited about what that. What we so, jump into now? Ooh, I don't know. So um, Mojo Catfish, I believe they came out with last year, yes. but we just bought into the line now. So very few things in the lineup. Um, but what struck me is we are always looking for these longer butted rods because we do a lot of bottom fishing around mm -hmm. here, as well as people are always putting rods in the rod holder. So you don't want your reel. We all hate it when the reels like it bang drives around. Me it drives me nice. crazy. Right. So they make a medium action, which we talked about mm -hmm. feels more medium heavy ish, yeah. but a seven foot medium rod. Um, which they're calling the Mojo Cat. Also, we like that it comes in this like grayish silver. Yeah, it's just different. Just something nice. different. But you can tell it just has a few extra inches, maybe two or three extra inches. I mean, it's a pretty nice size butt yeah. on there, but it's something you can really get some leverage on. I yes. think that's the point is, is you can get leverage on this. So this can be like a heavier strike bass rod. Mm -hmm. I mean, a really good multi-use. Yeah, you, you can get it for everything. You really could. Especially for those guys getting more and more into the um, blue cat fishing in the Potomac. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a good one. Still, it's still a lighter weight rod for yeah. how heavy ish it is. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, and with especially with Saint Croix, you only get those longer butts and the real heavy models. Yeah. So we love it when we get a little bit of that crossover mm -hmm. where we can have both of, have our cake and eat it too. Yep. So ooh. ooh, ooh, I feel like we always save the best for last. So well, this time we really did. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to see on this camera. So it you're is. just going to have to. You're take just gonna, our word or come in. Yeah, the, take our oohs and ahs for uh, for what they are. So this is St. Croix Triumph. Um, they have redone the whole lineup. It's no longer black. It is a darker blue. Very, very nice. It's gonna, it's... Yeah, I would call it more of a slate blue. It has yes. blue trim on the uh, wraps on it, which make, is it's, really sharp looking. It's, it's just so good looking. They've, uh, really they've changed out some of the component parts. Yep. Um, one of the main things I wanted to mention, because these are brand, brand new, so they're literally just getting the production mm -hmm. table. We just got our first set of them. Um, so other than just some of the new component parts, the new color on them, they've added some some stuff to the lineup. Yes. So so they've actually uh, triumphed. You know, now they're going to have Triumph Inshore, which is going to have a lot more like models that you know, guys, especially on the heavier side, are they looking for. Great price so they, point. they've added a lot of skews to the lineup, and everybody loves the Triumph lineup because it's a, a great price point lineup. But like Mike said, it's just a better looking rod. It looks a lot more, you know, it, it looks, looks more like a $200 like a, plus rod. Right. But right. it's still got that Triumph. So, so we're really looking forward to the new skew additions uh -huh. to that new look. Really looks great. There's going to be a lot of new St. Croix stuff coming. Mojo Very in the store had a lot of changes to the lineup. They did a lot of revamping of the key lineups we like. They always come out with new stuff every year, yeah. but it's usually that 
three to eight hundred dollar nobody yeah. cares range and how long you know, have they had the regular black triumph around them yeah so it's that's actually nice that they, we're really really excited about yeah. that so super, anyway that super. basically means this is the start of a lots of really exciting what's hot we do have a lot of really new hunting yes. good new hunting stuff that we're probably gonna Maybe trickle in every we're gonna every wait week. a little bit we're gonna make you wait for those things oh, yeah. um but yeah looking forward to a lot of the new rods and reels coming in especially and honestly you know the new lures start popping out now too mm -hmm. uh, around the same time so anyway very thank, exciting stuff yeah thank you guys for tuning in we'll check you out next week all right see ya